So I didn't know before last week, I didn't know two weeks ago that marriage was ecclesiastical and start in Genesis. You know, not Adam and Eve. I can, I guess I didn't think about it. But uh, yeah, that was something I didn't even know. Could have helped a lot. Like, if if my if my parents would have gotten uh, one of those, uh, um, what do they call it? Uh, not common law union. There's something else that they were calling it. There's a word for it. I mean. It's not like you're trying to be better than the, those over there that has this practice and they does that. And so they're acknowledged by this license or this whatever. Like if that's all, if that's all you're worried about and that's all you want, then there's something wrong. There's something wrong. But they couldn't have known that they wanted that. And if, you know what I mean? Instead of, instead of like, what happened with uh, my mom and dad is that they did they got married in a church inside of a church building, but it wasn't ecclesiastical. Uh, and and she was, you know, she liked some of the virtues and some of she didn't. And then when she got a new man, and she was saying that he's a better father and this and that. That set up, that set up the next thirty years or twenty or thirty years of still just posing and acting like you got this because you're a steadfast, you know, father for your daughter, and and that you actually work, so you should have this. When in actuality, he doesn't work, and he was a co-signer, and he isn't just there to look like what a better father would be for for my sister or something. He never had to weigh in on anything like religious. He never told you anything like he stays out of everything. He doesn't rock no boats. And there's and I, and I, and I just realized, you know, <clears throat> if he had to get married ecclesiastical marriage, he wouldn't be able, that wouldn't. So, I mean, a lot of things wouldn't even be possible in an ecclesiastical marriage. And I just imagine that that's just, you know, people just get married because they're stable and functional. And so they should, but I didn't know, like, well, I mean, I mean, there's nothing, like, I can understand if you want to be with somebody and there's nothing to stop anybody from being with them. But why do they need to be recognized by the church with a state issued marriage license if marriage itself is ecclesiastics? See, I didn't even know anything about that. And and for me to talk about, I mean, because like, like in my situation, like it would have been better if my parents had that other fancy word for a marriage certificate, because <clears throat> there was no like, oh, you're going to have to be this and you know that it means this and that. But then for other intent and purpose, I can just re, I could just change my mind I could just you know like I don't have to really and then it's like no thing you can tell the person you know what I mean because it it's like are you gonna tell somebody who doesn't feel loyal to you that loyalty is a virtue they think it's that you're brainwashing them in the first place so and they didn't know what marriage was either so because if like it's something like um the truny the trunies like to harp on about is why can't people split up? Why would they have to be t tied to this person? Like you're just locked into this that you know what I mean? 
but that wouldn't happen, first of all, if they had a common law union. Uh, and uh, people in the church don't think like that in the first place. They're not even like thinking like that in the first place. Uh, it would be easy to get an annulment. It would be easy to get an annulment. So I don't understand the problem. It's been more problems from that piece of paper than it is from trying to figure out what is the problem. Because why do you even want <clears throat> hmm. And uh, the globalists are probably going to either want to remove and ban marriage completely or uh, keep issuing secular marriage licenses. It's like one or the other doesn't matter, I think. I think they like either way, you know? It's like if you think that being silent or something like is going to stop the cops, you know, from arresting you or something because you don't talk like, or a judge is not going to pass sentence because you don't talk. You know what I mean? Like they like, they like that. Like they might like you to, to dig your hole deeper. But then if you think by not talking, you're not, you're you know what I mean, that you're not. Just digging a different hole, they like that too. So you just gotta get smart, and uh, you gotta figure out how to get the uh, judge to say. Uh, answer a question in yes or no. Wait, is it that anything you ask a judge, the judge can't ask answer you just yes or just no. It's not law that says they can't, but they might not be able to.